happy Thursday. It is Rose and Natalia here with you with the Button the Jeans community coming live from our homes. And we are just cracking up at each other right now. <laughs> sometimes you just got to, sometimes you got to just use the healing power of laughter to lighten it up because sometimes it just can be real heavy. And it's not just the kind of heaviness that we're talking about on our bodies, because that's, that's annoying and frustrating as well, right? Like we wanna be in a body that feels like light and energetic. But there's a heaviness sometimes on our hearts when we really get into the, the blaming and the shaming and the like controlling mm -hmm. and wanting things to be different so badly. There's a heaviness kind of on our shoulders sometimes when we feel like the weight of the world is is here and there's so much to take care of and our own self-care kind of gets pushed to the back burner again and again and again and we just are not feeling very empty feeling heavy on our shoulders and sometimes it's just our thinking right sometimes it's just my mind is just heavy with negativity and Sometimes I can even know that it's just my thoughts or it's like old belief systems from a long time ago or stuff that's not even mine. It's like my mom's issue. It's not even my issue, but somehow I've taken it on in my own mind. And so there's a lot of opportunity for, for laughter. <laughs> there's a lot of opportunity to move and release some of that. Um, hey, buddy. <laughs> Him, but he was all hi ladies <laughs> that's awesome totally my son is like i don't know a couple years older than yours he likes to come in and like start like flexing and like doing doing the th <laughs> doing the thing i think when i was doing like a cooking show a couple weeks ago he was like pulling up a shirt showing everyone his abs like <laughs> get out of here Oh my gosh, they're so cute. So cute and so, so much goodness to laugh at. Like life is just so bizarre. But yeah, this week, um, this week has been really interesting. Like I had a certain idea about how it was going to go and it didn't go that way. By the way, Dr. Patrick Porter did um, message me back and he's like, oh my God, I'm so sorry. He's out of town at a conference, which is like crazy that he would even schedule. He's just a goer. He's just a doer, a goer, a giver of all things. He's like, my assistant accidentally deleted our appointment out of my schedule. He's like, I'm so sorry. Here, let's let's reschedule for next week. I'm home. I'm like, all right, cool. No problem. I hope everything is well. And I told him, I was like, I actually went live in the group and talked about frustration and disappointment. That's a big one. I have probably been angry, either like at the situation or frustrated that I was frustrated and didn't know how to deal with it. And then got angry about that, that I'm frustrated, that I'm frustrated, that, that I'm overwhelmed. And I have soothed with food because of that and gone off of, of whatever my, my plan was at the time so many times it was just actually really perfect um to be able to share like in that moment it wasn't like oh you know five years ago the last time I got frustrated and I'm not like that anymore right it was like in the moment this is happening and how do we deal with it how do we reframe the way that we're thinking about it or just speak it yeah. Right. Sometimes even just having that partner that you can just speak it to and get it out of your own head is so helpful. So, you know, me and you do that for each other a lot. <laughs> we do the, 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 the speaking and releasing and, and then we kind of come to your own conclusions about stuff and it changes the energy and you get it all out of from swimming around in the head. <sighs> yeah. So thank you for that. Thank you for showing up in my life and being a, one of those people that I can share honestly and authentically to and with. Same here, girl. <laughs> I was just unloading on you with that Marco Polo just like two days ago. Cause yeah, 
like you said, just like all the stuff, it just feels like all the stuff. And it's just like, where do I even go with it? And yes, I've always gone to food and I didn't. <laughs> Me either. And I think probably the craziest thing, not crazy, right? Cause this is the whole point of healing. Like, why are we going on this journey if there's not going to be some healing and it's not perfect. It's not like one day I behaved and did this. And the next day I did something totally different. And I've never backtracked. Like mm. the other day you were actually mentioning something. I think it was in one of your lives. You're like, okay. So, you know, cause you have three sons and the youngest was potty trained and sleep trained. And you're like, mm, having a regression here. <laughs> you know, like, And it just happens. It's not like good or bad or right or wrong. It's part of growing. It's part of maturing. It's part of changing it's part of any process when you're going from one place to another it's not a straight line sometimes it's you like you jump and then you kind of go Whoo, and then it's kind of around and you keep going so you know really when when I was doing this kind of stuff on my own without help and support and compassion and guidance and all the cool stuff that we have here it was like that would happen. And I would be, I would be like, Oh my God, I thought, and I felt as if I had never done any changing, any transforming, nothing was ever different. And I was way back at the starting point, which logically I can step back from that and say, well, that's not actually possible. You can't not know what you know. Right. Um, <laughs> I mean, I have forgotten things <laughs> that were important to me. That's not actually a true statement. <laughs> But you always have an element of that knowledge and that wisdom and that experience as we go by. But what I told myself was I didn't have that and I had to start all the way back over and then wait to muster up the motivation to start again, to do yeah. another diet or wait until I gained 10 pounds and then I'd be motivated or wait until after this party or wait until after this person needed, you know, what I mean, just like, it just was this continuous cycle. And now the difference is that we get to move through stuff and have it be uncomfortable and bumpy, but continue moving forward. Mm -hmm. So really like the, the coolest thing for me is that the, sh the shortness of time that it took me to go from like embarrassed and frustrated and disappointed to like, to um, invigorated and hopeful and excited. It was 18 minutes. And in that 18, I only know that because I went live at 118. I was supposed to go live at one. <laughs> I was like, so 18 minutes and the thought of like soothing with food never even came up. And not only did it not come up in those 18 minutes when I was like, what am I going to do to solve this problem? Like it, it wasn't like that residual stress issue then into lunch and into dinner and the next morning and maybe I should do it like this. And all of a sudden thinking I need to go over here and have this whatever thing from this place. Right? Cause that's kind of happened to me too. Right. Where it's like, you can control in the moment. And then like, once the relaxation sets in and the moment has passed, there wasn't like a real transforming of the way that I thought about it. And then I would soothe the next day. Hmm. Is that a, a familiar pattern for you as well? Or what's your experience with that? Yeah, no, all of that makes so much sense. Absolutely. Especially like the, cause I still get caught up in the, like, when it's off like this, I just go, cause there's so many layers <laughs> around here that I'm just like, oh, like I just get so spun out sometimes around it. And obviously I'm attaching meaning to it or something because otherwise why would it would just be a moment, a blip or whatever. And so, yeah. Yeah, totally. And even like this afternoon, I'm like, okay, well, in order for me to like sit down to a certain thing, I have to get all of this other stuff and all these other people in order. And I'm literally like one of the things for me right now for myself and self care is that I, I have my food planned, which helps me saves me from just grabbing whatever or going without to the point that I just like shovel anything when I finally get to food, mm -hmm. show up as this crazy person who's like hungry and hangry. It's like, how are we going to keep the ex expletives out of here? Um, and, uh, I did, I had the moment where I was like, this is too much. I'm just going to throw whatever in this bowl right now. And I'm like, no, you're not. <laughs> like, 
it's right there and it's on the like weighing thing like it's like just throw the right stuff in there like you can center your brain for just a minute to like remember what your measurements were or just read it and then move on and so I did <laughs> it was fine <laughs> but yeah it's like this sabotage thing that just like comes in like oh f it like oh it's just too hard or easier this way and it's not really like you said there's so much more that could end up like coming up to the front if I did that so it's just like oh okay and luckily that there's like this plan in place that makes it simple even in the chaos it seems like oh it'd just be too much to like think about what I'm gonna have and write it down it's like <laughs> no that's what makes it easy <laughs> I, I crazy and if I have to think about it it's not going to be something that takes care of me but I just yeah. look at a piece of paper and go there it is <laughs> when I was saying I wrote it down now I can just measure it out it's perfect but yes I totally relate yeah <clears throat> you know thinking about like the way that the mind works and our conscious mind which is the one that's responsible for us like you know going from place to place and making decisions and kind of, you know, being here in this moment, mm -hmm. um, it can really only handle so many things at a time, right? They say like five to seven plus or minus two, depending on how well you can kind of like multitask and hold mm -hmm. lots of different things <laughs> and ideas in there. That's not a lot. If you think about, you have three kids, two businesses, yourself, your husband, right? Your food, all of their food. I don't even have enough fingers, <laughs> right? And so then it's like life happens, which it does, right? Either we get hungry, which that depletes. Now we only have, you know, the ability to think of three different things. We're maybe a little bit tired, right? So now we're hungry, we're tired, it's meal time. Like that is not the time to be thinking about what's healthy to eat. Like who cares at that point? <laughs> right? like, yeah. It's just not in us to like then pause and take a deep breath and like center and see what's going to happen. It's like you, there's like too, too much going on. So, you know, of course, everyone's life is a little bit different. I don't think that there's one thing that works for all human beings. However, this way for like people who are busy and don't have time or don't have the desire of time to spend thinking about food as much as I used to think about food, right? It's like, listen, I got my life to live. I want to be healthy and happy. And of course I want to enjoy food when I'm eating it. Like that's like, what else is the point of, of, of living? Like that's a part of the joy of it. And like, I just freaking need it to be in its place so that I can actually have the other activities of my life. Also the way that we feel, right? Like our, our body is, is a reflection of the things that it has experienced and the things that have gone in. So like our inflammation and, and the way that we feel and either the tightness or the looseness and our ability to handle levels of stress, right? Cause if we're sick and not well, then that depletes, depletes us as well. So yeah, I, I, you know, I, we're, we're talking about this kind of, of stuff because we are also super excited about our next five-day reset coming up. This reset has helped so many people. I'm going to start tagging the ladies that have gone to the previous ones and asking them to pop in and just share, you know, like a one sentence or two, or maybe a couple of them will go live and share a little bit about like the benefit that they got from the five-day reset. It has been changing and transforming lives. I think uh, April, and I'll, I'll, I'll tag her. One of the things she said, she said, uh, what was the word that she used? She said, you, it's like the golden nugget or the secret key or like you know, uh -huh. something, something like that, where she was like, you figured it out, like how to keep it simple and structured, but not so much where you just feel like you can't then live life, right? It's like, oh, well, you know, you got to lose weight. So you got to go sit in the corner by yourself. And that's no way to live. I don't want to live like that. I love your face. You're all. No. 
I have no interest in any of that. <laughs> I've done that. I've done it too. Because it was just I like, like, I just I needed to do it. Yeah. Yes. And it was always, I mean, even like following a plan that's similar to like, similar to yours. Like I did always feel like I was the odd one out or in the corner. And it's not like that. Like the way your program is set up, I like feel like I fit in. I fit in. I can have like, I can do like, we're ordering the Chinese food. I have a plate of Chinese food. You know what I mean? Like I you know, going to Indian or doing whatever I'm doing, like, oh, we're driving through fast food. I can figure that out too. Like, you know, it's like, oh my God, I feel like, <laughs> and I feel sane. And it's just like, oh man, it's like priceless. It's just like, yeah, it just changes everything. Absolutely. <laughs> it does. It does change everything. And even when we like get frustrated, we can get through it when we get through it together, you know, and I, I saw in your face as you're speaking to me, I think it was in the, the Marco Polo, or maybe it would have been in one of the lives where it was like, you went from that place of frustration and then letting out the, the judgment, right? Cause that came up, right? It was like, I'm totally judging myself right now. And then like within just a few hours, you came this like completely beautiful full circle. Cause you know that you have a safe space to air that stuff and to kind of come to your own conclusion. And it came all the way back around of like, well, maybe this is awesome. Maybe all of this is happening like for me. Maybe, maybe all yeah. of this is like a signal and a sign that I know that I'm on the right path because there is resistance right? There's resistance in our own self, right? There's resistance from the outside. It seems all kind of chaotic, but like, you know, the only thing that we can guarantee in life is that things change. And for some reason, that's the one thing that human beings like resist. Yes. You know? <laughs> like, we're like, I need to feel safe. I need it to be like this. I need nothing to be different. Like I, we get so afraid of like the one thing that's so natural and inevitable about life you know we just want to like put up a block and put up a barrier and like it needs to be like this so having that little space of safety and honestly for a lot of us our childhood wasn't totally safe right so if we kind of grew up in an uncomfortable or unsafe whether it was physically unsafe or just wasn't really safe to be ourselves that totally makes sense and there's a lot of that. I mean, that was my experience, you know? And so growing up, it was rough. It was rough to grow up. And that's one of the reasons that I really created this, this community and of course our private coaching group. And I talk to every woman individually before they even come in, right? It's not just here, follow this link and join us. You know, it's like, I want to talk to everyone individually one-on-one -on -one, because it's not for everybody, right? And it's really important that that place is a safe place so that we can have that foundation, that stability and share, and then know that we can grow from there. Yeah. Yeah. That was really cool when you came to that, that uh, revelation. Thank you for sharing that with me. It was like... Yes, it is the resistance, right? And it comes so strong. That's why it's so freaking hard to yo-yo diet on your own because the change really has to be a change of mindset and thinking and belief system. And it's not just food, right? If it was just food, you'd go on a diet, you'd lose the weight, you'd never have to do that again, <laughs> right? But yeah. here we go around in this cycle over and over. It's like, oh man, wait, I have to change my relationship to food and the, the <laughs> thoughts when I actually look in the mirror. Maybe that's, that could use a little upgrading. Yeah, I'm like going through it. Well, I'm on the, I'm getting on the other side of it, but for a few days. And like you said, the turnaround, like 18 minutes, like one day, two days, like what? We're talking years. Years. And so, you know, just life stuff, right? Cause like we talk about food, it's life, it's life. Like you said, our past, our present, our tripping on the future that causes that kind of stuff. And like, so I have been really going through it, uh, with just that, like, I see it as like a sabotage, like an inner sat, like, I don't realize I'm doing it, but that 
freaking out that um, resistance to something that is on the brink of like incredible. I did that shit when I was going to join your program. I was like, you're like, no. <laughs> yes, because I know that I knew that it was like perfect in time or, or what, or no, at first it wasn't time. But, you know, when I, even when I knew it was time, I was like, oh my God. Cause I like knew, I knew that it was going to be so good. That didn't change some things. <laughs> and so I'm experiencing that right now and it's not new. So that's nice. I have evidence of this, that it doesn't mean that it all, I can't do things and that it all has to just go to crap. It's like, like you said, we have, a, we have people, you know, or at least you hope you do. And you want, if you don't get them and like the community of people, like, um, someone in our group and I were actually, um, in the little PMs on Facebook with that little voice recording thing and like just going back and forth. And we're both in a very similar place. We're both about to embark on some really life-changing things and we're, our insides are freaking out and this inner saboteur is coming out and it's not real. You know, it, it's real. It feels real and all that stuff, but it's not real. It doesn't mean that we are going to like for myself that I'm going to fail, that I can't do this, that I don't deserve any of this, that any of that, that's not what's what it means. It, I just need to see the light right now and then move through this to, you know, keep going on my journey. And then I know because I've had evidence of this that I will turn around and go, wow. No wonder that part of me was trying to hold me back because girl, you can't stop me now. <laughs> you know? And so I'm like, okay, totally. that's what's there. That's what's there. That's what I need to focus on, not this other stuff. And so it feels so much better. And, you know, like I said, we were both right there with each other this morning and thank goodness, you know, we're both just like, all right, let's just keep on doing it because we know what we've got and we're just going to do it. And uh, it's just awesome. <laughs> it's awesome it, it certainly is a journey and it's so much funner together you know it was so stressful when I was trying to do it by myself and it's a lot funner to have other people to do it with because not all of us are struggling at the same time yeah. you know and we can it, it's helpful to kind of see the light at the end of the tunnel and have other people's experience and hear what other people are doing and how they're doing it and why they're doing it and what's working. And you think, well, maybe, right. Maybe if they, if they can do it, I'll try. I'll at least give it, I'll at least give it a shot. And then we begin to build a little bit of self-esteem and a little bit of self-worth and a little bit of value in the choices that we're making each and every day. And then, you know, we can stumble a little bit and we come back in and we get to be the one that's supported and then we get to support other people and yeah, it's really nice. So we would love for you to join us. You know, it's actually kind of amazing how much happens in five days, especially when you are making that kind of transformation where you're putting down sugar and flour, which is what we do, right? Because that's about eating, eating real, eating real, right? Like real food doesn't have added ingredients, right? So fresh, alive, and vibrant, wonderful foods. We got a hypnosis session to accelerate your success, which people have been loving. We've got all the incredible, wonderful, supportive, loving ladies who have done the resets before, who are in my coaching program now. And then all of us that are just kind of joining in going, okay, like, I want to, I want to try this out. Like five days, I can manage that. Okay. Like, let, you know, let me jump in and remember Dr. Lustig, Dr. Robert Lustig, he's a pediatric endocrinologist. So he's been doing this for like 30 years. He's like, Rose, it five days is perfect, right? Cause it's like, not so much that you freak out about. It's like, you know, like mentally and emotionally, you can like wrap your head around it, but it only takes five days to completely rid yourself of sugar flour, the toxicity of it, like the addictive, the physical addictiveness and right. for your gut to start to heal. He's like, five days is perfect. I'm like, see I somehow just knew right it was like intuition <laughs> awesome so we would love for you to show up so Michelle was saying I cannot share the link I know because this group is not a public group I mean I like people to um answer a couple of questions and request to join again because it's we talk about some stuff in here right like this is this is personal this is our bodies and our 
food and our relationships and things like that. So, I mean, obviously it's not as strict as my, my, my coaching group is, but still it's not just like public to anyone to come in and post whatever they want. I'm not interested in that kind of experience. So for the link to share and get your other uh, friends and family members to join the five day reset with us. It's a love reset. We're going to be kicking off on Valentine's day and then it's gonna be the, the week of after Valentine's week. So the 15th um, through the 19th. So all you gotta do is if you're on a computer, you just right click on the link and then um, you can go to your profile page and write a little, hey, I'm doing this, like, you know, come join me and post the link there. So anyone that signs up and then for that group, the question is, where did you hear about us? So the people who get the most, whoever gets the most people to sign up and join for our five day reset is going to win a special, special prize. Cool, man. I know it's really exciting. Exciting. So yes, Michelle, so glad that you are on board for our five day reset. Thank you for going to the website and registering. The link is right up there. You can just copy that, post it over to your page and, um, and, uh, for your chance to win. All right. Love you. Love you. Any other thoughts that you have for our ladies, Miss Natalia? No, I'm just, I'm super excited about the reset. I've been to the mall and I just love them. They're, it's just a great spot and you know the people that show up and the way we show up for ourselves and it's cool it's exciting I'm, I'm excited they're always a little different and just fresh and great yeah. I always feel like I'm always feel like I'm reset you know like it's just like mindset reset I love it so I'm excited too <laughs> it is it's awesome like the energy of every day you know, yeah. having the workouts in the morning, having the cooking class in the afternoon, and then having the coaching, the group coaching in the later in the afternoon at 4 p.m. Pacific time. Um, it just is a really good vibe and people are, are cleaning up their stuff, right? <laughs> their food and feeling good and looking good and asking questions. It's, yeah, it's a really good high energy, good place to be. Yeah. Awesome. All so, right. yeah, I'm excited. Join us, join <laughs> us. You will be hearing a lot more about it in this next week. And we are so excited to support you along this way. Thank you. Bye.